Hi folks, it's Miriam from Pre-Med Boost. There's a lot that can be said about brainstorming approaches to writing your personal statement. This is one of those ways. Designing Your Life is a book by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. They're both Stanford professors, and I cannot recommend this book strongly enough. All of the ideas I have for this video come from that book, specifically chapter five of that book, Designing Your Lives. It discusses the importance of having options when you're looking forward to a life design. It's dangerous to be stuck on just one idea of what your life could look like. This chapter encourages people to think of radically different life designs for themselves. In this chapter, Professors Burnett and Evans encourage you to look into three different perspectives of how your life could go. One, that thing you do. Two, that thing you would do if number one was no longer an option. Number three, that crazy thing you would do if money and image were not obstacles. Now, I don't recommend that you'd write your personal statement including all three options. No admissions director wants to read about how you want to be a doctor, but if that doesn't work, you'll be a health policy government employee, and if you really followed your dreams, you would be a curator of a children's science museum. So that would be pretty cool. You should do the design of your life exercises, but this is how I would recommend applying its principles to brainstorming about your personal statement. In your personal statement, you could be looking backwards, you could be looking forwards, or you could write with a combination of both. If you're planning on using any kind of looking forward in your personal statement, or this is what I plan to do once I become a doctor, here's an idea of how to brainstorm. Start with that thing you do. What path are you already on that you could continue after medical school? Maybe you've been working in a lab, studying breast cancer under a grad student. You could extend that path and suggest that because of your experience, you want to contribute to oncology research. Number two is that thing you would do if option number one were suddenly gone. What would be your default? Maybe besides your breast cancer research, you volunteered at a senior center. You like working with the elderly. Perhaps they find you charming. You know that you could easily be a gerontologist. Number three is that thing you do or the life you'd live if money and image were not objects. What is your crazy idea? Deep down, do you have the solution to the American healthcare crisis? And do you know exactly how you'd solve it? Then that's your third topic idea. If you know you want to write about how you would contribute to a community by being a doctor, but you're not sure where to go with that, use these brainstorming ideas. See what you come up with. You don't have to be married to the plan that you choose. Use it as a starting point and use it to defend and discuss your why you want to be a doctor. Once again, Designing Your Life by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Happy writing.